So this is question 8.1.1. Oh, I see they've got here 81.1. Whoops, you guys, 8.1.1. Um, so it says calculate the following without using a calculator. Okay, so what I see immediately is a compound setup over here. We've got a sin cos, sin cos. It doesn't look perfect, but I know that we need to go and reduce each of these numbers using the cost diagram. Okay, so on the cost diagram, we know that this is co um, cos or sin tan 180 minus 180 plus 360 minus. So the sin of 236 is the same as the sin of 180 plus 56. Cos 169 is the same as 180 minus 11. Now, when you have an angle that is bigger than 360, you can simply minus 360. So it'll be 371 minus 360, like that. And then if you have an angle that is less than uh, 0, so it doesn't really fit on the cos diagram, then you can just add 360. So that'll just become minus 124 plus 360. And so this first one becomes negative sin 56, because sin is negative in the 180 plus quadrant. The next one becomes negative cos 11, because cos is negative in that quadrant. And then the next one is sin of, that just becomes sin 11. And then this one is, so minus 124 plus 360 is 236. Now that needs to be reduced again. So I'm going to simplify a little bit. What I notice is that we have two negatives here. Now two negatives, we all know, make a positive. So that's going to become sin 56 times by cos 11 plus sin 11, and then this cos 236 can be changed to 180 plus uh, 56. And then we'll go once more, and so that's going to become negative cos 56, because cos is negative in that quadrant. So this positive and this negative will make a, um, a negative, so I'm just going to put it like that. Now I'm going to get the formula sheet, and so it looks like we have a sin cos and a sin cos, but now on the formula sheet it's a sin cos and a cos sin. But when you multiply, the order doesn't matter, so we can easily switch these two around. So it would be sin 56 cos 11 minus cos 56 sin 11. Now it's this one over here, so we can rewrite it as um, sin of 56 minus 11 and that's going to give us sin 45. Haha, -ha, special triangles, hey? And so if we put a 45, 45, this triangle goes 1, 1, square root 2. Now, we know that sin is opposite over hypotenuse, or uh, y over r, depending on the method that you prefer. And so sin 45 is just going to be opposite of this, which is 1 over the square root of 2. Now, if you used your calculator, your answer would look different to this, and that's where they would have caught you. So when they say special triangles, tri I mean, when they say without a calculator, it usually means you're going to have to use special triangles.